how much currency that has been sort of created out of thin air has been added into this economy through the Fed? What would you put as a figure? Would it be six trillion? Is that too much? It would be, yeah, six trillion in, in terms of deposits with the banks and currency, be six to seven trillion. Okay. That they're that they're just injecting into it, sort of out of nothing. Uh, out of nothing. They're they're the the, <laughs> the central bank of the United uh, States. Now, oh think my about God! It. The central yeah. bank okay. of the United States uh-huh. is the only institution on earth that can create dollars and pay out for assets out of nothing. It's alchemy. They're Rumpelstiltskin. Well, if yes, in a, in that sense, yes, and 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 they've been given that authority by the Congress of the United States for purposes of dealing with crises, for example. What's to stop us from creating 10, tr- you know, I, I used to make fun of Paul Krugman for his idea of a trillion dollar coin, yeah, you know? Right. And yeah. now I feel, I feel myself saying, hey man, well, let's just get $10 trillion coins, give one to China, one to Europe, are we square? Good. And then we start again because this whole thing seems manufactured. Okay, who receives the money? Uh, all the people that own the debt of the United States. So that money would be received by China, by Europe, uh, and all all the debt holders. Okay. All, all you're doing there is changing one debt for another because the, the, the printing of the money is a liability, is a debt of the Federal Reserve System. That d- dollar, that liability that the Fed created, it's now owed to China. No, we give it to, what I'm saying is we're giving it to them now and saying we don't owe you that anymore. Here it is. Yeah, but they have, what do they have? What, what did they, they have get? The tr- the tr- they have, they have the, a trillion tr- dollars. A tr- trillion dollars of Fed liabilities. Of the money. M- money that we printed, yeah. Right, and that's a liability of the Federal Reserve. That's and then debt. They, and, and then they forgive themselves. And oh, they just and they, oh then they just say, you're, you're okay, we like you, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think China's in the business of doing us any favors right now. And I don't think, uh, uh, Europe is either for that kind of thing. Because why would they take the loss? Why would they Why would but they take the loss? I guess I'm confused as if we can print money. You just said we're the only... We can buy an asset. Okay. Any asset by printing money. That is... We, but you we, can't pay debt by printing money. You can buy debt by printing money. So what or if we you, just buy back you, our debt? Well, because... <laughs> All you're doing is- I feel like I feel like I, you're having trouble. It's like talking to a monkey. No, you're no. like talking to a monkey no, and trying no, to no, figure I, out, look, how do I communicate with this monkey? No, no, I no. I don't know what to do. No, no, it, I, totally, I totally get it's confusing. Yeah. But remember, creating money, it means that the Federal Reserve creates a liability, debt, to buy debt or buy other assets. Right. Okay, so if they go out and say, well, to China, we want the government debt and they say, okay, and we, and we say, we'll give you our deposit, mm-hmm. our money. That we've that, printed. Right. China says, fine. What okay. kind of interest are you going to pay me? It's just another form of government debt. Am I, am I making sense? It, you know, it makes sense in the make-believe world of conjuring. Like, <laughs> there is a certain part of this that all feels like a mirage to some extent. Right. So it's, you know, when you think about fundamentals, right? So when I think about the fundamentals of the banking system, it makes sense to me. You have a central clearinghouse that their business model is, I'm going to trust you with my savings. You're going to give me interest on that. And you're going to make a little money on that by loaning that money out to somebody right. else for a little bit more money. Right. It's a business model that makes sense. Right. When we start to get into I'm printing money, to buy bonds to artificially keep those interest rates low, it makes less sense. So it's hard for me not to think of, well, why can't we just buy back our own debt so that we owe it to ourselves? And if you owe it to yourself, then it no longer can be weaponized by a foreign power or even by us because you can create a different paradigm of what that debt looks like. Right. So it's it's hard for me when sometimes the the rules of the Fed are explained, it's a little like saying, yes, you can levitate, but you cannot spin around. 
Do you know what I mean? It, it all yeah. seems sort yeah. of fake. Well, it it is it's it's a fiduciary system. It's all right. faith based. Right? <laughs> Oh my Lord. Yes, you gotta have confidence in that currency, in that dollar, because there's nothing back and there's no gold back in so it. So it's, it's in some ways, it's a mass delusion. Well, that's a harsh word, but uh, <laughs> it, so long as you have faith, yeah. Well, you might see it today right? in terms of with all this printing, you see these cryptocurrencies, these Bitcoins, right? which are basically virtual currencies. And faith-based to and some faith extent. And faith-based. 